Hello YouTube, welcome back to Mass Effect episode 16 and Pharaoh's part 2. So in the last episode we came to Pharaoh's and we fixed some mundane issues and also tackled uh, the Geth and helped the colony fight against the Geth and we've been told by the colony that the Geth are, or the main base is stationed at an Exogeny headquarters a little, a few clicks away from the colony. So that's where we're gonna head today. And if you don't know who Exogeny is, actually, uh, there's some corporation who specialize in colonization and also looking for artifacts and lost knowledge, I guess, on on uncolonized worlds, something like that, I suppose. And they also had a missing survey team uh, two episodes ago. So if they did find an artifact, they could explain why the Geth are here, because they're probably looking for it as well. And that could then also link to Saren and whatever he's looking for to whatever the conduit is and whatever he needs for that. So we're going to try to figure everything out in this episode. I am not sure if I can fit the whole episode into one. Uh, so make it make Pharaoh's two part episode. So if it will be a three part episode, so be it. But the variable is also a three part episode, so it wouldn't be the end of the day or the world um but anyway let's take the elevator to the prothean skyway is this where we're headed Watch out! oh great how much more i can take all right scouts are dead what i don't understand though is how the hell do we get our maker here because did we drop it in from the normandy did someone else drive it here I guess that's just video game logic for you. And now to the Geth base. Not something an intelligent being would normally say. <laughs> oh, and instantly the Geth come in with some... Great. Great news. So it appears that there's more colonists out there. Or could be exogeny workers. Ooh, almost drove off. More on the comp. I still can't get a fix on Any sort of that. This could still be in there. It's only been a few days. They're looking for Elizabeth. She's my daughter. I'll wait as long as I have to. How did I miss that? There we go. Dodge. Ooh. Nice hitbox. Wait, is, is there a guest inside here? Alright, let's go shoot him up. Guarding this locked crate. Interesting. Okay, let's get back to the Mako. There appears to be another bunch of colonists on the radio, or it could be the exogeny workers, we don't know that. But Zeus Hope was not aware of them, which is kind of interesting. Um, squad, two points. We unlock snipers and of course unlock advanced overkill. So now we need to unlock assassination. So when we actually do use snipers, we'll be able to, you know, use the ability. And then I think we're just going to leave it at that. Maybe max out uh, the assault rifle and then look into getting better spectre training. Right, let's keep it moving. Through the flames we go. But it's kind of weird though, like, these structures are so high up that we're like, I, I, is it a stratosphere or what is it called? Like, we're higher than clouds. I don't know, I, I should know that, study geography. Um, we got movement, some kind of vehicle, not one of the Geth. Okay. The we must be close. I think they're down here. We need to deal with the Geth. Nah, let's go check it out, Garris. Alright, looks to be more people. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. 
Get back, Juliana. Who yeah. are you? What do you want? Care to Commander help? Shepard, I'm here to remove your geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad mm -hmm. to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. You're not alone. Dan and some of the members of Zeus Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. Oh? I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving. Bruh. The Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I understand. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Oh, come on. Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those okay. headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. Bruh, shut up. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. Okay. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. Bruh, you're That's cold. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is Where's she? your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's still out there, I'll find her. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most yeah, tell of us me. lived closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When mm -hmm. the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. All right. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. I mean, you still could. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Okay, pussy like boy. the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. <laughs> eventually? I mean, Zeus hopes for the... Uh, uh, Celia or something? Uh, I forgot her name. It was really hell-bent on the fact that no one's gonna come and save them. <laughs> um, anyway, reasons for attack. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something really? Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. Mm-hmm. Colony information. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Right. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. Why did you come? Who brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. I mean, you did make a difference for four years. We already know Elizabeth's location, Exogeny facility. What was building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Mm -hmm. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. Okay. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Pharos is a long way from self-sufficient. Okay, we'll stay, stay put until, until I'm back. Find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter. Yeah, don't worry. Just get... hmm. They could survive out there. What? I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Okay. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. Okay. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. <laughs> People are quick to assume we enjoy being in hazardous situations. It's I mean, not that bad, Rick. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. So why me? You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny lately? All right, I'll, I'll look help. around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. What's the data Tell about? Tell me about the data I'm getting for you. Plans for a few prototype mods. I'm a freelancer. Mm -hmm. Some of my mods are highly sought after. Okay. Why work in the middle of nowhere if your skills are so useful? Maybe I've got a bit of the frontier spirit in me. That, and the alternative is a bit too secure for my liking. 
Okay, well, that makes sense. Freelancers don't have to worry about security as much, so long as we keep a low profile. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Yeah, no, we'll, if we find the data, we'll get it for you. I think the only time we turned down a mission was that Asari on Novaria wanted to spy on another company, like, not really my job, but... This scenario, I woke I welcome with Mora. Wait, what's the saying? I welcome it even more? I don't know. It's just free XP. An easy mission, download something, and you're done with it. There's more enemies here. Anything else in here? Upgrade kits. Cool. Okay. That seems to be that. Someone else talking about Geth on the Skyway. I wonder who those were. I guess that's the Exogeny building. Fame. Look at that moon. Wait. Shut down the car. We've got incoming Geth. Damn it! Shut down the car! Right, it's another. Oh, well, he didn't even try to peek me. This guy was on the comm, I guess. Interesting. Imagine what this place was like in its glory. You mean the Prophean colony? Yeah, that was probably quite epic. Okay, let's back to the Mako. Let's let's back to the Mako. Let's get back to the Mako. Sometimes I just don't know how to speak. It's kind of funny, I guess. There's another dead colonist. Shame. There's definitely Geth in here, our minimap's getting jammed. Guess we can't go through this, through this way. Our weapons cannot touch a field like this. We'll need another way in. Let me in! <laughs> Alright. There's a door back there. Let's see if we can maybe get through there. So this was their office building. Was it like this before? Or has it been ransacked by the Gef? Like, was it that destroyed before the Geth invaded, or was it destroyed because of how the colony has been in debris for a long time since the Protheans left? Okay. So it's definitely. Oh, what? Run, run. Take out those yeah, I'm telling you. Guys.
Jesus. I like, I like tried to run, but I was stuck on something, like an invisible hitbox or something. Like there again, what? Bruh. Okay, quick save. Um. A one-way trip down, Commander Shepard. I mean, I guess this is our only option then. Yeet. I mean, at least this leads somewhere. I'm stuck again. Thank you. Dead Varen. Did the get through it? Damn it! Oh. Well, I guess we found Lisbeth. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth or one of those Varen. It's all right. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Bruh. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. All right. We'll get you out as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They yeah. don't want anyone else getting access to the... You can tell me. I'm here for the Geth. It's very important that I find out what they're after. Finally, I someone. I don't know for certain, but... I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. The what? Thorian? I have never heard of such a thing. It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. Interesting. And no one else knew? The colony didn't want me to tell me. The guys we talked to, what? What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Alright. We need to get out of here, past that field. And I suppose, fair enough. Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. Okay. You can follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. No, I, I think that will work. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She did. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? God, I thought I was the only one left. No, no. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Wait, did I ever say him, Commander? Whatever. Tell me what you know about the Thorian. I really don't know that much about it. I think it's some kind of plant being. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. A plant? Right. Or maybe she knows me by reputation. Whatever. Geth attack. Why do you think the Geth would be interested in the Thorian? It's just a plant. I don't know why the Geth would care. Exogeny hmm. was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. Well, they have to have. The Geth, they wouldn't be here unless there was something special about that. I'm sorry. Yawning there, but yeah, the Geth wouldn't be here unless they had a valid reason. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Yeah. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good shout. That field. Oh, Baron. Really? Okay. Shotgun it is. They really do that much damage? Bruh. Both Liara and Garrus just got... They should regen their health back though, automatically. So we don't have to use Medigel. So we can use Medigel in situations where we actually need a massive boost of health, not when they're low and we're not in combat. Stupid machine! Access encrypted file! No, not a I don't want to review protocol! Bruh. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. <laughs> Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust. <laughs> Bruh. Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is Ooh. nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Oh, he baited me out. Sit down, buddy. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. I mean, I think the company doesn't care at this point. Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do I for need, you? I need answers, bro. What bruh. information was the last user attempting to access? 
Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. Okay, go on. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Oh. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. Wait, what? What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. So I guess that's what the Geth are looking for and why they're attacking the colony? Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. Oh. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. You bastards. That's why they're acting weird. So Jenny knew all along what would happen to those people. It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of species 37. For fuck's that sake. explains their strange behavior. You should yeah. contact Joker. Like, it's year, what, 2263, and humans are still conducting tests on one another. I'm disgusting. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We must find a way around the field. We must get back to Zoo's Hope. Yeah. VI. What can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. Great. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Then we'll find out the hard way. Before we go, though... What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. Alright, the Exogeny... I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Tell me. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Right. Our inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. <laughs> Some elaborate business shit that sounds real fancy. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Okay. Individual employee records are confidential. Oh, for fuck's sake. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. Mm -hmm. The outpost was quarantined immediately, and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. Why? Oh, why would you let that happen? I don't understand. How does it control people? Do you know how the people? creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is mm. severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Jesus. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Right, well that would explain why the guy in the tunnels, you know, he was probably trying to tell us about the Thorian, and then because he was rebelling against his creator, he got whipped by the master's whip, I guess. What's the term he used, but Jesus Christ. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it received mm -hmm. data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. Damn. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. So it's probably planet side more? We process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Hmm, okay. So how smart is it? Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? Mm -hmm. The Thorian yeah. does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. Right. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. Worrying. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. 
So where can I find it exactly? Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. So Exogeny doesn't know exactly where it is, just that it's nearby Zeus Hope. Right. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, research assistant, my medical division. Security <laughs> level four exemption. All right. I'm currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. So, Elizabeth actually didn't like the fact that they're about to test on them. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. I mean, As thank result, God. You were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. Right. So Elizabeth seems That's like a good person. Now. Going to standby mode. I wonder if her mum knows anything about this, or if Jong or whatever his name was, they probably knows. Jong seems like to be like some part of management or something. Let's keep moving then. Oh, there's more guys here. The Geth must have anchored their ship to the side of the building with these claws. Looks like it. Perhaps, but very efficient. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? Could the ship be dislodged? Maybe there's a flaw in one of the other claws we could exploit. Good shout. But this looks like one of the structures we found on the... I can't remember the exact planet name, but... Uh, the missing uh, survey team also had something like this, and the guests seem to be praying. This structure seems to have significance for the Geth. Is it possible they set up this room to serve as a sacred temple of sorts? Why would a synthetic devote resources to something like this? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Maybe it's a data portal that we can't really access. Don't know. Very creepy though. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay, commas moving jammed. What? Damn, nice. Up the stairs we go. This is where we find the data, I believe, if I remember correctly. We have to deal with some Krogans as well. Some spoilers, yep. They're down. There's the download. There's the down download. There's the download. More loots. Great news. We've done it. <laughs> no, not really. We still need to get power. We still need to disable the power from the get ship. We can get back to Zeus Hope and solve this mystery once and for all. But it may would make sense if they're infected, they wouldn't tell me because they got, you know, they're enslaved and they would be released in port. So I think the woman was trying to tell us, but then she felt pain because she was thinking about it. The guy in the tunnels was throwing the sage and she felt pain. And everyone else sort of maybe saying that, and also the woman like operating the crane was probably looking something for the Thorian. So that's why she was kind of being secretive about it. And then on top of that, <clears throat> I think the reason why everyone... Oh, my days. Wanted us to talk to Fai Dan is because she, he's the leader. Maybe the Thorian doesn't want... 
like the other people to talk about it. Where's this guy? Okay. Let's keep it moving. I fear we do not have the needed gear to destroy this claw. We will have to keep looking. Ah, uh, that's not good news. More gif. Yeah. You find a repair ticket attached to the console, the down door to the shuttle bay is fried again. It works fine if the PSI is 30 or lower and the safety shot kicks off and the PSI gets about 34, but the PSI is in the 31 zone, the door slams it down with enough power to shear through a metal beam. Somebody fix this one before my team loses an arm in that thing. Okay, so this is basically a calculation. I think it's 7 and 11 and then 5. And they can close it. Boom. There we go. Yeah, the ship's fallen. Bye bye. Well done. Our way out should be clear now. We can go address this Thorian issue. Yep. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. This is shore party. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. All right, sit they tight. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. Alright, we need to get back. So, the colonists are attacking the ship now. I guess they're onto the fact that we know, but how would the Thorian know that we know he exists? Or did it just account as, as a threat after we left? Perhaps. Perhaps that is the case. We should be able to go out of the door that we saw there's a block earlier. The game already showed it to us, but... That's very bright. And then left. Elizabeth, alright. There you are. Or Lisbeth. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. You lied you to me. You didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. Oh, nice. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, oh, shit. I never meant for this to happen. Well, I do believe you. I just went with a little bit of a threatening tone. Just, you know, sort of... A little bit spice things up, make her a little bit, but you know, to say the little bit what, so that she tells the truth. But we already checked her background, and what she said is true, so I believe you. Did you did what you could. I'll help them if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zeus' hope, but the entrance is blocked. Hmm. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. I see. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. Oh, That's great. what Exogeny was interested in. Well, yeah, Normandy we know that, but... So... But I thought Saren could already control people. So why does he need... No, I'm pretty sure he needs the Thorian for something else, because he already has the ability to brain brainwash people. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Okay. Like your way. Right. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. All right, yeah, I'll help you. I mean, she's not the bad guy. She's just working for bad people. You can put it that way. 
Back to the main core. I really wish I could just jump over this thing, but it, back in the day when this game was released, parkour mechanics weren't really a thing. I assume there's going to be a lot of enemies on the Skyway bridge. Considering the warning Joker gave us. But let's get moving. Yeah, I can see them anywhere. There's a lot of rockets. Alright, that's done. Let's keep it moving. Is there any more on the road? No. Alright, I'll see you when we are back at where Elizabeth Mum is. I don't really know what to call it, but I guess the second outpost. Is there anybody? Is there anyone picking this up? Get away from that radio! What was that all about? Oh my god, what just happened? The controls went crazy. Okay, you're just gonna run out. Okay, well, I guess we'll follow her in. Actually, just move the Mako a little bit closer. And then follow her in. I assume John is up to something, considering the panic state of Diana on the on the comm. You can't do this, John. <laughs> Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! What? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Yeah, what are you gonna do? Shoot me? <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope that Geth would kill you. No, of I course. I some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. Oh, explain yourself then. What do you then. think you're doing, Zhang? Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This oh. is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Yeah, more valuable than lies. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian, or should I? Yeah, dickhead. Over what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. What about the bigger picture? Can't you picture? see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? It's a gimmick. <laughs> Movie rights and tourism. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're covered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Yeah. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Them straight, I ain't broke. Make a killing, but if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If Damn you straight. Kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. Sounds logical. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just Perhaps. Sure no evidence when you're done. You shouldn't be wasting time. Deal with the Thorian. I might just shoot you, you know. All right. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. I do hope so. What do you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. But when I get caught in it too. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous right. systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. A oh. reduced capacity concussion grenade might suit our needs. It's actually quite smart. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander.
Equip your grenades with the anti-thorium gas upgrade. This will disable infect the colonists without killing them. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. All right, cool. Let's take that then. Go to the grenade launcher. Equip the anti-thorium gas. And talk to Gavin Hossel, and then we'll end the episode here. And then part three will be us going back to Zeus Hope, dealing with the colonist, dealing with the Thorian, whatever that is, and then hopefully be done with Theros. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? Yeah, I found your data. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. No problem. Was there anyway? It was the least I could do. Exactly. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. Thanks again. And another level up. Let's go, baby. So now we actually, well, we actually have four points, four, four, four points to spend, which means that we could actually max this out. Increases the damage and the accuracy. That's exactly what we need. That's great. So I'm gonna save the game here. And call it a day. So thank you for tuning to this episode, Pharaohs Part 2. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. And I hope to see you in the third part of Pharaohs, where we're going to end this threat once and for all. So that's it for now. It's a goodbye from me.